Hey, Shalom friends, back to the word of the day. So let me read today's word really quick. It says, therefore, I will always remind you about these things, even though you know them and are established in the truth you now have. I think it is right as long as I am in this bodily tent to wake you up with a reminder. So we all need a reminder. Then Peter said, I got to remind you guys. And what exactly is he reminding us of? Well, I made some notes. And these are all the things that we've covered in the past last week. And so far this week, it's only Tuesday. So these are what we're remembering. He has given us everything required for life through knowledge. Remember, knowledge is a big key in this chapter. By his glory, we have great and great, very great and precious promises. We need to make every effort to supplement our faith with goodness, knowledge, self-control, endurance, godliness, brotherly affection, and love. Then we'll be useful and fruitful in the knowledge of Jesus. We don't want to be blind or short-sighted. So when we forget some of these things and we don't do them, we're being blind and short-sighted. We're not looking to the consequences. We're only looking for immediate gratification, right? Don't we all want that sometimes? I know I do, um, but then we're being blind and short-sighted. So it's good to be reminded. And if we make every effort, we will not stumble and the kingdom will be richly provided for us, not only in heaven, but here on earth as well. So that's pretty exciting. And I think the fact that he said we need a reminder, you know, sometimes that's what a good accountability partner is for, or that's why we need to, you know, get into the word every day and, and, and learn and gain knowledge because it helps us to remember. And sometimes even writing out a declaration is good, a declaration of all these things. You know, I am knowledgeable. I am good. I do have self-control. I do have endurance. I do live in godliness. I do have brotherly affection and I live in love. So even just doing a declaration like that and reading it out loud to yourself every day is also a good reminder. So I hope this teaching was helpful. We're going to be just moving on probably to some just regular words of the day, not a whole teaching. And look, I rearranged my office this morning. So um, I feel like I have a little bit more room now. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Shalom.